Hey everybody, it's Mr. Clausen here. Just wanted to go through how to connect the, um, what's it called, wireless dynamic sensor port that we have there. Um, how to get that connected to our laptops at school. So, first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to come over to your computer and make sure that you have Bluetooth turned on. Now, I think mine already is, but to check that, you go up to the Apple System Preferences. Go and find the uh, Bluetooth, and if yours looks like this, where it says, you know, turn Bluetooth on, you're going to turn it on, and it's good. So Bluetooth is on. Next thing you want to do is you're going to want to turn on your sensors. So you can do that. That one's red. I'm going to turn on a couple of them so you see what it's going to look like in the classroom when everybody's there. So we got one called Hall, one called Heisenberg, and one called Kepler21. Um, so those are three sensors we have set up that we could use. And we're going to see what it looks like when we, we do that. So next step then is to open Logger Pro. So find Logger Pro however you normally would. Uh, there it is. Okay. And what I'll do is I'll just make this a little smaller so we can see that video still is kind of what's going on uh, in the background. To connect them, you come up to where it says Experiment. And what you want to do is you want to select Connect Interface. And these are wireless. So we're going to scan for wireless devices. This usually takes a minute. So it just popped up. It gave me this message. It said that we got Kepler, but it should have brought up the other two as well. And so what I'm going to do is just say Kepler wasn't yours. Say that's one that's at the lab table next to you. You don't want to do it. Let's rescan and see if we can get more. That's better. Now it brought up all three. So what we would do is we would find the one that we want. So let's pretend that Heisenberg is actually the one we wanted to connect to. We would select that and hit OK. You'll now notice that Heisenberg went green because we are connected. And these two are still looking, so perhaps those are for people at other lab tables. Um, at this point, you can then do what you would want to. Uh, whether you're going to use acceleration or force, we're going to use acceleration, or excuse me, we're going to use force. You can go ahead and just click on the acceleration graph, hit delete to get rid of that, and then what we can do is just make the force one uh, bigger. To get it right now, there's no force on Heisenberg. Like you can take a look there, there's nothing pushing on it at all, but yet it's still reading it. So we're going to hit this big zero button up here. That's going to set everything back to zero, hit OK. And you'll notice now that the force is going down much closer to zero. Uh, to run this, you just hit play. It'll start collecting data. And then what you can do is you can push on the force probe or you can pull on it, and it will react um, in real time as I do that. That's how you connect. Uh, pretty simple and easy. If you have any questions, talk to you in class.